Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about one of the type of power source that is used by the radar system for the generation of microwave signals and that is nothing but crossfield amplifier. So let's begin with the topic. <music> That radar stands for radio detection and ranging equipment and it is used in many of the application. Initially, radar was developed to be used in the military application for keeping eye on enemy's activity, for detecting the location of enemy and for tracking the positions of enemy. But after that, the radar finds its application in all other fields which includes space communication, which includes remote sensing application and many other industrial application. So, in case of radar, we require to use receiver and transmitter and in order to operate this, we require power sources. The various power sources are available for the radar. The basic two types of power sources are self-oscillating power source and second is oscillator with built-in amplifiers. So, for generating the microwave energy or for generating the microwave signal, radar uses tube or semiconducting device. The tube types of power sources includes klystron, crossfield amplifier and continuous traveling wave tube. Now depending upon in which application we require to use the radar, based on that the transmitter or the power source of the radar get vary. There is no universal transmitter that can be used for all the applications in radar system. Depending upon in what application we require to use the radar, depending upon the requirement of the application, depending upon the user's requirement, system requirement, environmental condition and many other factor decides which type of transmitter or power source we require to be used in the radar system. The other factors that affects the performance of the radar includes the type of mode in which we are using the radar, the object which we want to track, then range of the radar also plays an important role for deciding transmitter or power source for the radar. Now in this video we are going to talk about one of the power source that is used for microwave generation and that is nothing but crossfield amplifier. So in this topic we are basically going to cover structure and operation of the crossfield amplifier and characteristics parameter of crossfield amplifier. After this we conclude the topic with the help of few MCQs. So let's start with the structure and application of the crossfield amplifier. Basically the crossfield amplifier is similar to the magnetron oscillator and it is characterized by the electric and magnetic field perpendicular to each other. The crossfield amplifier provides high efficiency which is near about 40 to 60 percent and it provides this high efficiency at low operating voltage. The crossfield amplifier also provides broad range of bandwidth and it provides high peak power. At the same time, it provides moderate gain. So these are some of the features which are provided by crossfield amplifier. In addition to this, the crossfield amplifier also provides reliable communication. Now, the crossfield amplifier, if we are moving towards the operation point of view, then it provides better phase stability. And if we connect number of crossfield amplifier parallel to each other, then it can be used to provide high power, but it provides moderate gain. When we connect crossfield amplifier with magnetron, it acts as a power booster. Now let's see diagram of crossfield amplifier. Now let's see the classification of crossfield amplifier. The crossfield amplifier having two types or two types of classification. The first type is based on the type of mode and on the basis of type of mode, the crossfield amplifier is classified as forward wave amplifier and backward wave type. Whereas on the basis of the electron source, the crossfield amplifier is classified as injected type and emitting sole type. Now in case of forward wave type, the simple spiral structure or simple helix structure is used in the microwave circuit. Whereas in the backward type, the strap line bars are used. In case of emitting sole type, the current is generated or current is originated from cathode in response to the electric field and the forces which are present in the space between cathode and anode. Now the amount of current generated over here is depend upon the dimension of the applied voltage and the forces or the electric field which are present between cathode and anode. In this case the electrons are exposed to the DC electric field to the RF electric field and the forces which are present on the other electrons. While considering the operation, we require to consider two cases. When first case is when spoke is positively charged 
or we can say when RF field is in positive half cycle, at this time the electrons speed up towards the anode. And the second case is nothing but when the spoke is negatively charged or we can say when RF field is in negative half cycle. So during this time the electrons speed up to cathode. Now moving towards the movement of electron beam, then in this amplifier the electron beam moves in a spiral path. Now let's talk about some characteristics of crossfield amplifier. As we have just saw that it provides better efficiency, it provides good phase stability, it provides moderate gain and it provides broad range of bandwidth. Along with this it can be also used as a power booster when it is used with the magnetron. So these are the few characteristics of crossfield amplifier. And because of these characteristics, they can be used in large range of application like because of high reliability, it is used in the space communication. Because of high power gain, it is used in the application where non-contact measurements is required. So this is what about the various features and various applications of crossfield amplifier. Now let's move to the MCQ part. The first question is, the crossfield amplifier is a hybrid made up of traveling wave tube structure added with the cross electric and magnetic field of magnetron tube device and the options are true and false. So we can say it's a statement is considered as a true statement because in the case of cross field amplifier the electric and magnetic fields are parallel to each other and the structure is similar to the magnetron. Now let's move to the second question. And the question is the cross field amplifier are usually characterized with the following properties and the options are a high gain, B high bandwidth, C high efficiency with low operating voltage and D all of the above. Now we know that the crossfield amplifier provides broad range of bandwidth at the same time it provides 40 to 60 percent of the efficiency but at low operating condition and it provides moderate to high gain therefore option D is considered as the right option for the question. So this is what about the crossfield amplifier which is used in the radar transmitter for generating microwave. Other than crossfield amplifier, we can also use two cavity clistron or we can also use traveling wave tube for generation of microwave signals in case of radar transmitter. The selection of transmitter is again depend upon the type of application in which we require to use the radar system. It depends upon the requirement of the system. It depends upon requirements of the user and range provided by the radar system. At the same time, it also depends upon the mode of operation, what type of technique of communication used in the radar communication. So all these parameter affects the selection of transmitter. So based on which application we require to use the transmitter, we require to select the transmitter accordingly. And there is no universal transmitter which can be used for all the application. Each transmitter having its own advantage and disadvantage. Similarly, each power source having its own advantage and disadvantage. So depending upon the requirement of the application, we require to select transmitter as well as the power source. So this is what about the crossfield amplifier which provides high efficiency and better phase stability. And due to that, it is considered as one of the most important type of power source that can be used in the radar system. So I hope you understand this topic of crossfield amplifier. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Subscribe Ikeda. Thank you.